got you stuck off, off, off the rail. The, the realness. Oh, yeah. The man on the street is doing a goddamn special goddamn audacity podcast. Yes, I'm by myself. Hopefully my brothers will see this and they will drop on. They would they actually come on. But man, <laughs> oh, man. What a day. I was outside, man, enjoying myself, you know, smoking my cigars like I always do. And today I decided to watch some, you know, black exploitation movies. You know, one of my favorites, Willie Dynamite. Oh, man. Willie Dynamite is one of my favorite movies. If you ever, if you never watched Willie Dynamite, you need to go watch it. Oh, man. And yes, that is the guy from Sesame Street that's playing the pimp. If you didn't know that is the guy from Sesame Street. He is the pimp in Willie Dynamite. Man, but y'all probably wondering, why is the man on the street getting on at nine o'clock? Well, man, what a day. Y'all see what it says. Shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, man. Donald Trump was out of goddamn rally in um, Pennsylvania and in and, and, and they say the shot was fired. <sighs> Man, I don't condone violence. I, I mean, this, this doesn't have anything to do with politics. You know, um, I think I read that the gunman is dead and somebody else dies. So it, it's just one of those things that, man, you just got to say to yourself, damn, what the heezy is going on. But if you haven't had a chance to, to, See it on the news. If you didn't, check out this video. The gunshots rang out as former President Donald Trump spoke at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, prompting a Secret Service detail to spring into action. And look what happened. Oh. Trump appearing to be bleeding from his head pumped his fist in the air as he was rushed off stage and into a black vehicle. The former president ducked as the apparent shots were fired, which set off screams among the crowd. His supporters had gathered on a sweltering hot Saturday in a western part of the state. The Secret Service is assessing the incident and have not confirmed if it was actual shots. A spokesperson for Trump said in a statement, President Trump thanks law enforcement and first responders for their quick action during this heinous act. Yes, I, I think I think it was a heinous I You know, I, I don't think that I, I like I said, I don't wish death on anyone. And I, I think this type of situation just makes it worse. It makes it worse because now people are going to actually rally rally around Donald Trump. That's just my opinion. You know, it, it, it's a shame that we have stooped this low in politics. But my my my, my thing is Donald Trump took us there. He, he, he's took, he has taken us there. He has got politics so dirty that stuff like this is going to happen. And, and, and it's crazy. It is crazy that somebody would take it upon themselves to actually go out and shoot to kill this man. Allegedly. Well, they say that they, they, they did say that somebody died. So they treating this like an attempted assassination. So my question is, how did we get here? How did, how, how did we get to this discourse in our politics uh, uh, arena? It, it, it's, it's just crazy to me. You know, Trump always talking all this, you know, I can't be touched. But somebody tried to touch you today. Somebody tried to touch you today. And, you know, President Joe Biden, he, he, he got on and he actually said that he's glad that Trump is not hurt. He's glad that, you know, he's safe. But the, the, the discourse that we are having in our political arena, I hate to say it, it's caused by Trump. He, 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 he like I say, I don't wish death on no one, but he has brought us here. He's brought us here to what's going on 
in the political arena, the way that he bashes his opponents, the way that he makes his subordinates go after his opponents. But now somebody took it upon themselves to go after him. This is crazy. This is crazy. Now, I've read some of the comments that some people read. You know, I went on the blogs and I read some of the comments. Some people think that this might be a, a political stunt by Trump. That he probably set this up to gain more votes. Which is crazy to me. How did we get here? How did we get here with this discourse in our political realm? A couple of months before we elect the next president of the United States. Now, <laughs> I'm going to play devil advocate right now. The man on the street is going to play devil advocate. I know my man, conspiracy brother, he probably watching this. Or, he, or when he do watch this, he's he going to say, man on the street. <laughs> I feel you. What if Joe Biden say that Trump is a threat to national security and sent out a hit on Donald Trump? Now, the Supreme Court just said that the president of the United States can't be charged or he 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 he, he can't be convicted if he's doing an official act as president. See, 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 see how crazy that is? See, the, the decision that the Supreme Court made has repercussions now. Now, now the man on the street is not saying Joe Biden sent out a hit on Donald Trump. Okay? But let's just say allegedly if Joe Biden was to do it and say, yes, I did put out a hit on Donald Trump because I think he's a risk to national security. He can't be charged for it. He can't be charged for it. And see, that's why I think the Supreme Court really didn't think about this type of situation. No, I really don't. I really don't. It, it, it's just crazy to me about how the Supreme Court came to that decision. No man is above the law. No man or woman is above the law. No man, I don't, all woman should have that type of power. But now, <laughs> Donald Trump is saying to himself, damn, damn. Damn, damn, they almost got me. They almost got me today. Now, whoever was doing the shooting, they're not a great shot. Hey, they're not a great shot. And I'm glad that they don't. I'm glad that they didn't kill Donald Trump. Because if they, if they had, he would have been a martyr. He would have been a martyr for those right wingers, those MAGA Republicans to to basically start a civil war. I know y'all looking at the man on the street, like, man on the street, man, there's not going to be a civil war. There's not going to be one civil war that's going to happen if Donald Trump was to be killed. Or, but we don't know that. See, that's the crazy part that I think that the Supreme Court didn't didn't understand when they made that decision that they made. Like I said before, I don't wish death on anyone. And and people that know me know that I'm not a a, a, a Trump supporter. I think that his policies are, are detrimental to the American people. I, I really do. I, 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 I think that he is a person that's always out for himself. For him 
and his family. And, and th that, that, that's my, my thoughts. Now, the person that actually took shot at him and, and, and try to try to assassinate him, that, that is wrong. I, I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, I wish they had a, um, the guy, all, all female, I, I don't know if it was man or woman, um, uh, um, missed. I'm not going to say that because I want him, I want us to beat him fair and square. That's what I want. I want us to beat him at the goddamn ballot box. Not, 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 not this cheap route. See that that that's a cheap route. The route that that person went is a cheap route. No, 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 no. I want us, the American people, the American people that believe in democracy, to get out and vote in November. To say that hey, this person, his ideology, we don't agree with. And we're not going to let him get back in that office. That's how, I want, that's how I want us to win. I really do. It, it's just crazy to me that we have come to this type of situation because that we disagree with whoever that we want to represent us as the next President, y'all gonna see me wiping my forehead a lot here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in my garage, and I'm gonna tell you, it's hot as fish grease in here. <laughs> Plus, I got all these lights on. God damn it, it's hot in here. Oh my goodness! But it's just a crazy situation that we have found ourselves in, and it all started for me. It all started when. Barack Obama, former president Barack Obama got elected president. I know a lot of people say that, hey, man, what does Barack Obama has to do with the situation that happened to Donald Trump today? Well, I'm going to tell you. When Barack Obama became president, it shows how much racism still exists in America. Mitch McConnell said this. When Barack Obama became president, Mitch McConnell was the head guy in the Senate. And he said that we're going to make sure that Barack Obama is a one term president. That's what he said. They made sure that all his policy that he tried to pass Hey, we're going to cut that down. But the American people say no. The American people say no. And they went out and Barack Obama won his second election. He did. He, 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 he won it. Now, we, let's, let, let's come to when Donald Trump decided to run. We remember when he came down the, the, the escalator. And he said what he said about, you know, uh, 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 about Mexicans, about Mexico sending their worst to us. He, he said that they're sending their worst. They're sending rapists. They're sending thieves. They're sending murderers. They are sending their worst. And that's how he started his bid for the White House. Now, Hillary Clinton didn't help herself when she said what she said. But to me, the man on the street, Donald Trump made it worse because he's always attacking people. He's always attacking people. He has never said anything to me to make me say that, hey, we need to come together. Never. And now we have this type of situation. Man, this is this is just crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is crazy. 
This is crazy. I'm trying to to get an understanding and, and understand. It, it, it's just crazy that it happened today. Joe Biden, like I said, he's having a rough week. We talked about this last night on Two Cigars and a Blunt. Yes, that's our other podcast. It goes down every Friday night at 8 o'clock. If you haven't watched us, make sure you watch us because we have these type of conversations. Yes, we do talk about other things, but we talk about the political realm as well. We, we, we do. We, we talk about all of this. But to me, to me, I'm not I can't speak for my, my, my podcast mates or, 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 or you. I'm just speaking for the man on the street. Donald Trump has brought us to this discourse that we are having in our political realm. Now, where do we go from here? That, that's, that's a good question. Where do we go from here? It, it, it's crazy because we're supposed to be the representation of the greatest country on the planet to all, all other countries to follow us. This doesn't happen in our country. Yes, yes, we, ha we have had president being assassinated. We know Abraham Lincoln. Of course, we know John F. Kennedy. But we're supposed to be a civilized people. We're supposed to be better than the other countries that are out there. But now... And I'm going to say this, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack on this. I, I'm going to get a lot of flack on this, and, 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 and it, 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 it's just crazy. It, it's just crazy. Uh -uh. But Donald Trump brought us here. Donald Trump brought us to what happened today. He has. Because the rhetoric that he spits out of his mouth. I, I know a lot of people will be saying, man on the street, man, shut the F up. You don't know what you're talking. But look at his track record. Look at what Donald Trump was spewing ever since he said that he's want to be president. Started with the Mexicans. Then he went to the Muslims. Then he went at Barack Obama. Then he went at Hillary Clinton. But now, as you see today, allegedly, somebody took a shot at him. Somebody tried to assassinate him, allegedly. People are fed up. People are fed up with the rhetoric that comes out of his mouth. And I hate to say it. I really think that I knew that something like this probably was going to happen. Excuse me again, like I said before, y'all going to see me wiping my head a lot because it's hot in this goddamn garage. Woo! It's just one of those situations that you hate to see happens, but we're here now. We're here we're here. We're here. So how do we rectify 
this situation. Now, I'll be the first one to say that Barack Obama didn't do enough for African-Americans here in America. I'll be the first one. See, I could be objective about the person that I saw making America great again. <laughs> to, 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 to use um, Donald Trump uh, um, um, phrase. Because he was trying to play both sides of the fence. He didn't do, uh, you know, if you talk to some black Americans, they would say Barack Obama didn't do enough. If you talk to white Americans, they say Barack Obama didn't do enough. If you talk to the Hispanic population, they would say Barack Obama didn't do enough. And, 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 and you would be right. You would be right to say that he didn't. But when we talk about Donald Trump, he only concerned about a certain segment of the United States. A, a, a certain segment. And to me, to me, that's the one percent. That's the people that have money. That's the people that he give the tax cuts to. It, 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 it's just crazy. It's just crazy that we are here. Now, the people that support him, the people that actually support him, those people are some of the, I'm not going to say they're, they're the poorest, but they're not in that 1%. They, they, no, they're not in that 1%. But yet they follow him and think that he is the second coming. <laughs> I, 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 I really mean, I really mean. Oh, thank you for joining the brother. Thank you for joining. Hey, this is not two cigars. This is the Audacity Podcast. This is my podcast. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Let me finish my thought. No, no, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I'm, I'm finish thought. The people that actually follow him, they're not the one percent. They live in paycheck to paycheck, but they believe everything that comes out of his mouth. And that's the thing that the man on the street can't understand. So the situation that happened today, Donald Trump caused this. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flags say man on the street, shut the F up again. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> because the rhetoric that comes out is my Tim dog. The floor is yours. Oh my goodness! When I first heard it, I was like, "Oh man, this motherfucker didn't set something up where he can get some attention." Mm. But after hearing everything that's going on, uh, people got killed, and then I'm like, "Whoa, oh, this is for real." I bet yeah. he's not gonna be playing around now. I bet he mm. gonna, his ass gonna take everything serious from now on. Go get a thumbs up. Talking about I'm all right. No, you yeah. ain't. <laughs> yeah, no. You may say that, but in your yeah. mind, you are not all right. You just someone tried to kill you. I mean, that's something different than people talking about doing something. But when they actually do it, yeah, you know, that that's gonna change him. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Tim Dog. You know, no, I, I would say this, and, and you know, to use the hip hop terminology, you got ops out there. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump thought that he didn't have ops out there because mm -hmm. people know where you're going to be at. They mm -hmm. know you're going to be in Philadelphia or outside the suburb of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. That is not Philadelphia, but Pennsylvania. So they know your itinerary. Oh yeah. And, and my, my thing is that's why you can't say the things that you say because somebody going to take offense to it and they're going to do what they did today. Oh, yeah. Your thoughts, Tim Dog? Hey, it's all fun and games until somebody gets shot in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tim Dog, you know what it is? I'm going to tell you what it is. It's all fun and games to the rabbit has the gun. 
Oh yeah. Oh, want to wipe my ass, huh? <laughs> Yeah, but so, I'm, I mean, it, it, it's a sad thing that it had to happen like this. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I feel bad for the man only yeah. because something other than old age was trying to kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. at the same time, I, I don't condone anyone doing anything to anyone like that. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, I may be sitting up here cracking my jokes and stuff only because. You know, this happens every day in the hood. Oh, you're you know? right about that. Oh, you, you, you just said a mouthful, Tim, dog. So, you, you, you are totally <laughs> right. This happened. That, that's why I say it about. <laughs> that's why I say it about, you know, you got ops out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, got, you got ops out there that's actually looking <laughs> mm. for you. Mm. That's why you got to be careful uh, about how you say things about a certain demographic or, or, or certain people because it's going to come back and bite you in your goddamn yeah. red head. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Pump his ass. He, he didn't hear it coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I, I may be cracking my jokes, but yeah, no, no, no. You know, no, you reap what you sow. You get what you deserve. And, you and that's what I'm trying to say to man. An invincible can say whatever you want, do whatever you want, until exactly. somebody takes you out. You know, exactly. This big bad drug dealer. There are other drug dealers out there who feel the same way you do and feel like, hey, I want to take him out. Why? I don't like the way he talks. You know, he's exactly. in territory. I don't like it, this. And he thinks it's fun to go out there and lie about some of the things he's going to do or has yes. not done and yes. then broadcast what he's going to do once he gets into office. Of course, there are going to be repercussions, whether it be through the vote or, as we saw today, somebody try to take him out. Now, I'm telling you, from now on, he's going to be a changed man. Hey, but see, now oh, yeah. I, I don't think so, Tim, though. I, I really don't. I think this is going to embolden him. And I hope I use that word right. It's going to embolden him to spew more rhetoric. I think he's going to double down on what on what he says. He's going to double down on on, on everything that he has been saying for the last what 2016. So seven years, he's going to double down. He's going to get down with what he's been saying. I don't think it's going to change him at all. Welcome, Matt Professor. Matt Professor, your thoughts on oh, what happens? Oh, now the show starts. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna get on, but you know, forget that. I got, Go ahead, I got I'm gonna stand on my shit. I ain't hiding from a damn thing. I got you. Um, I guess MAGA now should also stand for make, um, make make assassins great again, cause <laughs> this motherfucker can't shoot worth a damn. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He did it just for the win. Right. I mean, the, the sad thing is he was only and and it's what and it's what I said in in the um chat in a in a texting chain that I've text. been a group a group text yeah yeah in a group text the weapon that they say this guy had at the distance he was which was only two hundred yards should have taken Trump's ear clean off his body yeah mm-hmm. yeah it I yeah. mean it, it yeah. and and at the very least should have looked like what um Evander Holyfield's ear looked like after his first fight with Tyson. Yeah, the Tyson bit, bit it off. Yeah, I yeah. mean, come on. I, I'm and I know people gonna hate everybody saying that this was staged. This was a. This is all conspiracy. Yeah. But yeah. the the fact the the fact that this guy who was able to get in position for yeah. a shot that somehow the Secret Service missed this shed. Hey, I don't understand that. Matter of fact, I mean to cut you off. No, the no, Secret go ahead. Service, That's their job, right? What, what the hell? Are, I, I understand. See, he he always he always talk about the size of his crowds. Right. My crowd, I got a hundred thousand, I got two hundred thousand people here. Mm-hmm. But you never thought that your op could be in that goddamn crowd. It, Go exactly. Ahead, I need to shoot no, no, you good. <laughs> right. You, no, mm-hmm. you good. But and and that's my point is how in the hell did this person get get within this distance because within I, I think it's within a mile of a presidential visit there's not supposed yes, to be right. any unknown weapons in that vicinity at all so how is somebody on the grounds of his rally within 200 damn yards of him mm. capable of getting a weapon and taking a shot 
Somebody mm. wasn't doing their job on lookout. Or somebody let it happen to make, because it's it's what I said. <laughs> Trump has always wanted to come off as a strong guy, always yes. wanted to be a hero, and yes. always want to be a goddamn martyr. Always. That's that's the three things he's always wanted to go with his power. And, and man, I say that, I, I say that exact old, same man. thing. I say that exact same thing. Look, I had to get on here. I, man, look, I, I got to stand on what I always say, brother. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. To me, to me, to me, I, I, I can't speak for, I, like I said, I'm not speaking for the brothers on the panel. I, I'm not speaking for y'all. But to me, you reap what you sow. Right. And Donald Trump been spewing this type of rhetoric since what? 2016, 15, 15, when he when he started running. And now and now the people are fed up with what he's saying. And that's why I say that I'd be the first one to say that Barack Obama didn't, didn't do enough for us as black Americans. I, I, I'd be the first one to say that because he did. He, could, he couldn't. He had Not no that second year. Right, that part. But, but that part. I guess what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is, but he didn't went out to to talk trash or the I'm about to miss the word. I've been drinking to, to say something about the other races. To well, make because, him well, because, to. well, because as a black pre, as a black president, he couldn't. That's because right. that would have that's immediately closer. gotten him removed. Oh, yes, that's right. That would have yes. needed, right. but and that's and that's the problem with people like Trump. They can say whatever their stupid ass mind, whatever comes on their stupid ass mind, and it's all just oh well, it's whatever. No, it shouldn't yeah. be no whatever. We yeah. shouldn't have we shouldn't have accepted a president. We shouldn't have elect. We should have not accepted any elected official saying the stupid shit this man has said since exactly. he decided to run. In exactly. fact, no, I'm gonna go back as far as before he ran when he was talking the stupid shit about Barack Obama's not a citizen. Citizen. That's right. So that shit should have been unacceptable back then. But yes. he honestly, he get what he sold because all he does is talk about how he's so tough, how he's so badass, how people not afraid to kill for him. Well, guess what, nigga? Somebody tried to kill you. Yes. Yes. And he, I'm re I'm he said he could walk in the middle of Park Avenue, whatever the hell it was, and create yeah. a cry. Park right. Avenue. And he'll be okay. Now yeah. he's immune. He's immune. Right. Remember what you what we said before. He's immune. So guess what? It's time to be. Let's see what this immunity is going to do now. Right. But see, that's that, that's that's what I brought up earlier before the brothers got on. I yeah. say that what what if Joe Biden allegedly? I'm, I'm not saying allegedly. What if hypothetical? A hypothetical. Joe Biden say that Trump is a threat to national security. Right. I want somebody to go out there and kill him. He they he. They they can't convict him. They can't say shit. They can't say shit. And that's why I say the Supreme Court. They effed up with the decision oh, yeah. that they made, and the they, are, the they are uh, they are they are they do not represent the United States. They no they, they, no. The word I want to use, man, I can't use the word right now because I've been drinking too. Them six but, conservatives, yeah. assholes. Yeah. But they're, they're I, blue I, racial, I, you know, I, I, I guess I guess what I'm saying is that they they open what they say Pandora's box. Oh yeah, they open up they Without open question. up Pandora's box because. You know, Biden's still the president. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And He's guess still what? The president. If, 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 and, and, and that's the stupid shit is I had just turned on on faux news when you guys said y'all wanted to get on. And one of them. News. That's false. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I call them. Faux news. <laughs> oh, God. That, um, they came with one of their stupid ass guests go. Did you do you think Biden had anything to do with this? If and I did, didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to hear the answer, but I'm about to go where Farrah went was, was about to go. <laughs> Yeah. If he did, so what? They, so they what? said it's legal. It's legal. Mm. He got immunity. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it's just a stupid. And, and that's the problem with this. And earlier this week, what's so freaking stupid is on YouTube. Um, I follow the comic, the comedian, the comedian Christopher Titus's channel, Armageddon. OK, which is he, he I mean, the dude is just as brilliant as he want to be. He was he brought someone on called Texas Paul, who has his own um, YouTube channel as well. They were talking about how there are some Republicans who was trying to pass a law that made it illegal for Biden to get immunity while yeah. holding oh. the same immunity for Trump. Oh, you can't do that. Right. Right, right, right. What, what, what's, what's the saying? What's good for the goose is, goose good, is for good, good for the gander. Right. Exactly. It, 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 you know, you can't you can't you can't you can't split. You can't split atoms like that. You know, it, it, when it had and, to get too. Yeah, it, you know the crazy the crazy part because like I said, I was outside. I was outside 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, have, I just, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have that goddamn shirt made up. Make assassins great again. I because I just come up with that <laughs> shit on the fly. I'm sorry. I just rolled around my goddamn skull for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, Go ahead, man on the street. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Trust me. I, I might. I might make it up tonight. <laughs> I might make it up. Hey, you know what though, fellas? I've I've watched some of my um some of my friends list post these uh, memes where. 50, uh, you know, where 50 Cent, you remember he had the vest on? Yeah. And yeah. He, they put Trump's face on there. <laughs> Damn it. All right, All right. You know, um, the, the one where he's standing there like this, you know, with the American flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, what are you seeing that you need to support a felon? Well, why, why are you supporting a felon? Because they don't care. Because if it was black, it wouldn't that happen. We well, it's, it's what I said. It's what I said yesterday, and what I've been saying for weeks. They don't care that he's all that he's a felon. They don't care that he's unqualified. They don't care that mm. he's a xenophobic racist. They mm. only care that he generates news articles and money. Mm. That's all they care about. Man, this, it, this, it, it's it's yeah. just repulsive, man. It uh, truly a, is. Until I want you to get in here after I say this. It's because he speaks to their ideology. He but are they supposed to, to be friends of ours? But 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 no, mm -hmm. that's that's why I say every. What they say, everybody that's your friend is not your friend. Everybody that pats you on your back is not patting your back because they they want to see you succeed. No, they patting your back to find that soft spot to put their knife in it. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm telling you, to where I'm they tell you. the way it used to be. You know, exactly, we were subservient to them. Where, exactly, you know, and we we uh, weren't. Some smart. things are gone, man. Some things are gone. They, they walk into my goddamn area. They about to get a five, five, six, that, that, and that's the hidden racism. You know that deep inside people it ain't, not, ain't nothing hidden about their racism. Out out that's all. Exactly, it, it was like exactly. a bad weed. It was about to die out, but he brought it back up. Oh, and, <laughs> and you know what? My my biggest that's issue with all this shit is because I have. I have Fox going. I have Fox News going on my second monitor that I have on on at this desk. Okay. Um. And I'm and I'm getting, and I'm have it turned low so I can hear what one of the fucking idiots on there just said was that, and and it's the image that's gone out to around the world with this idiot fuck standing up with his fist up in the air like he's resilient on some shit yeah, with the blood right with the blood right. That's what this shit is all about. That's yeah. what this is, was the photo was that photo op right there that makes this man look Isn't like he weird? is about something exactly and that's the shit. There's always cameras everywhere he goes except this fucking time. There's not hey. much coming from behind him except when when he was on the ground. There's no video coming from behind him like there normally is. Yeah. But this hey. this hap this time this shit happens. And hey, you know you know you, you, just to chime in because you know like in the group chat you know I I, I don't know who said it but. I think somebody say that this is like a conspiracy. That's me. me? <laughs> okay. We all did. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm just saying, I didn't know who said it. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that this make it look like a conspiracy because, you know, Listen, Biden, man, did you see the reaction of the crowd? They yeah, didn't oh, no. run. Yeah. No. Yeah. Everybody pulled their fucking phones out. Exactly. What did I think? Exactly. This happens every day in the hood. And, and, you know, people get shot. They, they react different. I'm telling you with him. You say he's going to be even more emboldened. I said, yes. no, this is going to wake him up. He gonna no, it's not. No, it's no, not. I, I, the, reason why, no, it's the reason why I say that it's going to more embolden him to do what he does, because what the math professor say, just like what Pharaoh said, he had his fist up in the air. He's showing, hey, they can't stop me. Not even a bullet. Not even somebody right. taking shots at me. Oh, right. I'm, I'm Teflon Don. That's what he's going to say. I'm Teflon Don. And what he's going to say is, I'm here. They try to kill me, but I'm here to fight for that you. part right there because and all that he, shit he, is is pig blood on his ear. Gotcha. They gave up the game. When, That's right. When they gave up the game, when they went, when the um, FBI went to Mar-a-Lago to reclaim the documents, That's and right. the first fucking thing people started bringing up, in fact, in the last month and a half, I should say, what people started bringing up was the fact that they had that they could kill anybody that was there to try to stop them, even though they knew they went when no one was there. But the first fucking thing these idiot Republicans said was they trying to assassinate President Trump. Are you mm. uh, really? Because th it said the same shit on Biden's um, warrant, not warrant, um, search, search warrant as well. And nobody said shit about that. Yeah. But, the, you know, the funny part is they probably told Donald Trump, hey, you know, we about to raid you. 
It wasn't a surprise. They did. They, they did. They've been. They had surprise. been telling him for months when they when they were coming. That's why he made sure he just happened to be in New York the night the shit happened, exactly. even though he hates exactly. New York. And that's why that's why I'm saying to Tim Dog <laughs> is that he's 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 going to be more emboldened now. He's going to be more emboldened. To his base. Oh man, they try to take out our goddamn hero. Right. I, 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 like, like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to no, uh, downplay people. I'm not him, trying to down Christ. people. Who took that um, video that guy? <laughs> I'm not trying to down people religion, but to the MAGA cult, our Jesus. Yeah. They, they tried it. They, they tried to, they tried to crucify our Jesus. But I'm going to go back in. I'm going to say this again. Donald Trump brought this on himself. Yeah, without question. Yeah. Oh well, you reap what you sow. I've always said we all. The, I mean, his, his mouth got him into a, some trouble that uh, somebody tried to take him out. No, what what did he say? Um, don't write what shit about. Don't, don't write, write a check. check your ass. Ass don't let your mouth your write a. Don't yeah. let your mouth write a check. Your ass can't cash. Yeah, because somebody tried to cash in the day though. <laughs> and 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 like I said, that's my issue. That's my whole it's issue with this he thing. He was not a marine because he would have made that right. Shot. And yeah. well, see, and I keep. I keep going back to the video and on Fox, they just showed the whole thing again. He like I put in the group text with you all and with some members of my family. He turned to the side and looked damn near the direction the shooter was. Mm. He looked yeah. he looked damn near the direction the shooter was at but right before the shot went off. Exactly. Now, I, I, go, I know, go ahead, my I know I damn control, well. I know damn well. If he hadn't turned, he wouldn't have been hit. But the fact yeah. that he turned. Mm. Because if the shooter had shot at his head like the like they say the bullet hit him, he'd have mm -hmm. been hit square in his forehead. If he he would have been hit right here temple rather mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. he turned his head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. and that's why I keep saying he wanted to martyr. He wanted to be considered a martyr a and martyr. a hero. God damn it! Which is why they he let himself be grazed in the fucking ear, which is a harmless ass wound. In fact, he the Republican um, convention is this week. He probably won't even have a bandage on that bitch. <laughs> he say he didn't cut his ear on the way down. <laughs> right. I mean, come on, now. Nah. And, 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 and you know, Mad Professor, I, like I say, I don't believe in conspiracy, but this smells like a conspiracy. Yeah. I know a lot of people say, "Man on the street, man." No, they try to. No, this this smells like a conspiracy. Walk like because, a duck. Talk like a duck. It's a duck. Right, because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I say that. Because Biden, he ever since the debate, he he's been having a goddamn bad week. <laughs> and, and, and how how can you how can you capitalize on that situation? Oh, right, let, let, let's have somebody try to kill him. Do do yeah. exactly what he said he would do. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let's have somebody try to kill me, and and and, and, and I survive. I'm gonna put my fist up like the brothers did in the Olympics with the black glove. I'm gonna put it up. Oh, y'all, y'all, you Come know on, what I'm guys. saying? He's a celebrity in chief. He already knows the game, man. And that's and that's been my whole thing. He knows that, that, the game. That's been my whole thing. What did it's he say before 2015? I'm gonna run as a Republican because these assholes or these dummies will vote for me. He said that, and they still voted for him after he called them assholes and got them all stupid. Uneducated. That's, that's why he went to Democrat because he was saying that um, he could never win as a Democrat. Now he went over to Republican and he won as a Republican. I, 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 he's I, I, winning right now. What you talking about? Yeah, what, what, see, right and that, what, let me bring that up. After the debate, he only went up by two points, which yeah. is not nearly enough because at this point in the last election with him and Biden, he was up by damn near 10 points and still lost. Yeah, and exactly. that yeah. is, and that's the, and that's why the the conspiracy is the conspiracy brother and me looked yeah. at this shit as fake when it came as as a conspiracy when it came out because like I said that picture of him won has just won him the election no matter what the hell happens with the Democrats yeah, it's I say now. the same thing it, no matter what the Democrats do Matt he's Professor, won this election Matt no, Professor, we, you just say what I just thought. God damn yeah, go, go ahead, Barrow. I mean to cut no, you off. No, I, I agree with them. As soon as I saw, I said that's it. That is it. Yeah. I said, what? Now, I mean, that's what I said. Everybody's putting these memes out. You see how many people have already put it out and it just happened. It, it's mm -hmm. over with. You can forget yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. Just go ahead and, and get your retirement check. Joe Biden back. would have to, to, to bow out immediately and Barack would have to be able to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we know that can't happen. And well, it can't happen. I, Michelle, I don't, Michelle, they, Michelle don't want to be in that public eye again. Yeah. She, and, she and, clearly you know, doesn't. And, and the thing I would say is that 
Well, the way the Supreme Court is going, well, well, it's six three, right? It's six yeah. three. Yeah. And you know, you know, Joe Joe Biden could pass a law and like, hey, the hell with the two term. Let's do a three term. Oh, you could be president for forever, as long as you want to be president. He could do an executive order, right? He could no, do that, right? No, it would require no, it that. would require an no. act of Congress because they'd have to change the Constitution. Yes, okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, now, the only exactly. way Joe could actually save himself is the way I said Trump would keep himself in office, and that start a world war. And they, th there can be no or, election during the war, or and he, has, he has a heart attack because there ain't nothing yeah. else going to happen to him. And you know, uh, you just you just uh, you just brought up a great point on that, Professor. Donald Trump always says that if I'm not reelected or if I lose the election, there's going to be a civil war. He, he said that. That right. came out of his they, mouth. They made a movie of it. Think about that, people. Yes. Yeah. The movie's called Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and the crazy <laughs> white, beat, <laughs> old white beat over there taking it. Bless you. Hey, yeah. I only had a chance to take it off because, um, you know, I had to leave. She told me to take it off before I get home and I couldn't do it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm you know someplace wife. else. So, <laughs> so I wasn't going to give it. I wasn't going to hit the button, but Tim, dog, you get the Negro, please. Okay. <laughs> but my, my 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 thing is with the situation because, like I say, I was outside, man, enjoying watching Willa Dynamite. Is my black flotation day? I was watching Willa Dynamite. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you never watched Willie Dynamite. <laughs> watch Willie Dynamite. I only watched Black Dynamites. I, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Well, I, I'm gonna tell you. Um, black quotation. He got a Bruce Leroy shirt. Show. Nah, 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 I'm gonna get, get back. I'm gonna get back to. I'm gonna get back to Trump. But Willie D, that is the guy. The the main char the main character in Willie D is the guy. He's the guy who plays in Sesame Street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so that's the part. Stop uh, playing. No. No, yeah. One of the characters in Sesame Street is Willie D, the pimp slapping ho the, the pimp slapping ho. <laughs> <laughs> the whole slap of the pimp. Yeah. The whole, trying to say the whole slap of the pimp. Thank you. <laughs> That's the brother from 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 Sesame Street. Uh what's his name? Ace will come to me later. But back the black dude with the mustache. With the mustache. But That's back right. to Trump, man. Back, 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 back to the situation. Because like I said before. When, when when I guess Pharaoh, I think you said it first that Trump almost got taken out of here. Yeah, like, I was I, watching I just, it. I was yeah, watching. I, I was watching. That's it. what I'm saying. I was like, oh so, shit! You know me. I had my phone set to my side. I am like, what the fuck? Because it, it keep going. I'm like, what the hell? And that's when I saw the video. I like, oh yeah. shit! First, I thought it was firecrackers. Exactly. That's and that's why I know that wasn't that wasn't a good shot. That's yeah, you know, it, and, it, it and then when I saw him drop, when, when, when he dropped, and he got up with the blood on his face, and I say the same thing that the mad professor and you say, Farrah and Tim Dog, he just won the election. Yeah, he he just won the election off of somebody being a bad shot. Would you say right. white tears? White yeah. tears? Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, he, he, he just he just wanted to look. And like, like I said before, I know we get on here, we get on on our, our podcast, Two Cigars and a Blunt. It goes down every Friday night at 8 o'clock. Make sure you tune in. Because like I said, Seven we talk Central. about this. That's right. And we talk about this stuff all the goddamn time. I, I but, still don't see it, though, that man on the street, because the people who don't like this man still are the majority. What are you going to do? Get more followers of people who... Well, no. It, what it's going to do I, is... I just don't see what, it what it's going to do, what it's going to do, and what, what hit me, that it's going to bring the people who was undecided That's right. onto his side. Or, or, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to... Because, because I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people vote on sympathy for... for God damn, man. Or, or, you just read my goddamn mind. Man, Professor, you just read my mind. See, you could be somebody saying that, too. You know, you just, I, I, I'm sorry, I just did that. I, I was making Tim sure Dog. I had my settings right so I can see okay, on my yeah, own thing. I, I understand okay, what you're saying. no, no, yeah, my bad. Saying, I, like, I saw the comment with, shit giving up. Along hey. with Mad Professor, I just said the people that I thought that you know that was on my Facebook and on my mm -hmm. IG and stuff, the, the way that they sit there and they uh, viralize that picture of him putting his fist right. up, that right there is the sympathy that everybody's going to now vote right. for. And that's why I was going to say, Matt Professor, you, you and Pharaoh, man, y'all can read my mind. He's going to get the sympathy vote. That's what he's going to get. Right. Yeah. Because, the because he's a felon, but, but they don't care about that. 
Yeah, and, 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 and just like y'all just say, Mad Professor Farrell, you, you, Tim Dog, you're the only one that that's out there that thing. No, I'm that just saying not- you got a long time between now and November. Yeah, there, there is. People I mean, have that- short term memories when it comes to certain things, especially with power. We're hoping that new I'm this praying week, for that. Just and like I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, is old next week. Like with I'm, Biden, I'm, what was happening to him last week? And now all of a sudden we got him being shot at, not- and then next week, next month, it could be something else. Let me say, me, is- me, 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 get in there before you get in, man, Professor. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why it's not gonna happen. Because Biden keep making these gaffes. Biden keeps looking his age, acting his age. Right. And, and, and just like just like just like people, I read something today. They were saying Biden is main, making all these gaffes because mm-hmm. he's an 81 year old man. But nobody is talking about Donald Trump and his lies. Nobody is talking about that. Nobody is talking about Donald Trump sitting up there at the debate and lie, lie, lie. All we hear when you turn on the news cycle, you turn on the channels, you turn on anything. Joe Biden mixed up this person with that person. Right. Even though Donald Trump been doing this for years. And this week is going to be somebody tried to take out Donald Trump. But that's what I'm trying to say. It could be, well, there's no evidence of what something's going on. You never know. You know how things are. I mean, the people who really don't care about either one of them would rather vote for the old man because the silly ass man, he's saying shit that people just don't agree with. And he's blatantly lying. And and that's why I'm saying this is not going to galvanize People who even on the fence, you know what? That's what the asshole get. I'm sure that's what a lot of people are saying, like us. You Before you say what you got to say, Matt Professor, I'm going to play the video one more time. This is the video that I, I, I put on Facebook. One more time. Just, just I'm going to tell you, this one video, the way that the news going to cut it, Fox News going to cut it, Donald Trump about to be our what? 47. 47th president. Mm-hmm. Kin to gunshots rang out as former President Donald Trump spoke at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, prompting a Secret Service detail to spring into action. And look what happened. Oh. Trump appearing to be bleeding from his head pumped his fist in the air as he was rushed off stage and into a black vehicle. The former president ducked as the apparent shots were fired, which set off screams among the crowd. His supporters had gathered on a sweltering hot Saturday in a western part of the state. The Secret Service is assessing the incident and have not confirmed if it was actual shots. A spokesperson for Trump said in a statement, President Trump thanks law enforcement and first responders for their quick action during this heinous act. That fist that in the please. air, man. I'm the telling blood you. was too light for one. He <laughs> still had his ear. And yeah. nobody behind him fell shot or anything. Everybody stood up, no, looked around. Everybody looked around. Look around pulled their but did, did they say, I, I'm, I'm, re- I'm reading it right now, man. I'm going to read it to you. Did they say that uh, one person died? Yeah. Trump than, injured in shooting at Pennsylvania rally okay. that left how did at that least one, person die? one dead. They just, how did that one person die? They, well, they haven't said that yet. They haven't said it yet. Yeah, it's going to come out. You now. Going with people were running. You never know. Yeah. Or had a heart attack. Yeah. All right. I'm telling yeah. you. I, that's just. That's just. That, but what do you say? That's fake news. God damn it. Yeah. That's fake. Damn it, Pharaoh. <laughs> that's not even fake. Of course. Once again, again, it's part of the conspiracy. I'm sorry if the person did die. Hey. No condolences to. He me. never said. But, well, why? I'm how coming. they died? I mean. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. We didn't out. even see anyone behind him once he grabbed his ear. No one went yeah. down. No one mm. fell out. No mm. one did anything. No, he would have got shot in the ear. Somebody behind yeah. him, which were a lot of people, would have fell down too. And that's what I'm about to say. In watching the video again, you can see um, something flying off his off his head. The back of his the back of his um. You can see something flying off the, from the back of his head. Now, yeah. like I said. The fact that this person shot at him with the rifle they said that he shot off a 24 caliber, which is what type of weapon was it? Did, did they say that, uh, that's a long rifle? A long rifle. That's, okay. that's a long. That's that's a hunting type rifle. Okay. Or, or if you want a sniper that rifle, fast. that was kind of mm. fast, wasn't it? Yeah. 
and that, and that's what I'm saying. That kind of rifle is not a, is not a, a gun to miss with. Mm. And that that's why I said this person either meant to hit him in the side of the head, which is why he was turned to the side looking right as the shot was about to go off. Mm -hmm. Or the person was a horrible shot. So again, MAGA. We got a comment here. We got a comment here. Let me see. <laughs> a paintball okay. gun. <laughs> My class. The blood looked like a paintball. The blood, the blood looked like a red paintball, goddammit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, like I said, my, my main issue is Trump is Trump has been since he decided to run for president, the most photographed and video person on the planet. Because he's and, a celebrity in chief. And there's no there's no video of him of of anything behind him. In fact, yeah. if you look when I was looking at the video again, I didn't see one camera out one phone out while he was talking until after the um, Secret Service picked mm -hmm. him up. There was they were all like this. Right, exactly. <laughs> you can't like, tell me, you can't tell me that you're so infatuated with this dude that you didn't run for your life with a fucking bullet's flying. Right. I like us, I, I man, it's just to me it, it and, and that's why I, that's why I keep saying this shit is as much of a as much of a conspiracy that he helped set up as anything I've ever seen in my life. I've I I watched the Reagan assassination live. I, I just happened to be watching TV. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some shit like yeah. that motherfucker yeah. meant to do what he did. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you could see that there was clear intent. You could see Reagan. Mm -hmm. You could see look on his face. He was like, did a motherfucker do what he did? Hey, how did you let him through? Right. Well, <laughs> and, that, and remember, shit, shit, the assassination attempt on Reagan was shortly after the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul. Mm -hmm. So security mm -hmm. was at his yes. highest. Yep. At the highest. Hey, That's right. What about Bush mm -hmm. when he got the shoe thrown at him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, not but, but, that's more of an insult than an assassination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, but, but my, it, was, my, it was actual though. Yeah. But I, I guess my, my, my thing is, and, and, and I'm gonna heart back to that photo, and it's gonna be on every front page. Well, people don't read the news. It's gonna be on. Now, it's gonna be on T-shirts. It's, it's gonna be on T-shirts. Oh. Trump and, already and, got them made. Trust me. It, exactly. <laughs> and just passing like, them out at the rally. Yeah, and <laughs> right. Just like you say, Matt <laughs> Professor. Just like you say. Afterwards. <laughs> just like you say, Pharaoh. <laughs> That one picture of him holding his fist in the air, saying that, hey, they're trying to take me out. I'm here to fight for you. Right. And they don't want to, they, they, they don't want me to fight for you. That picture just won him the 2024 election. And I promise Listen. you, that's exactly yeah. how he's going to word it. Exactly. Listen, though, and, and, and I, because, I promise because, you this, it wasn't a person that has melanin in his skin trying to take his ass out. But No, no, no they, I don't I, know they showed They showed a small picture of the person when he was dead on the roof. It, it wasn't, no, it wasn't nobody melanated. Okay. On the roof. Uh, uh, but but, but if, he, if it was melanated, he was going to use that to his advantage. He's going to use that. Point. He's he's going to use that to his back because, like I said before, like I, I'm I'm gonna keep saying this. I'm I, and I'm trying not to offend anybody, but there was a black person that tried to kill Donald Trump, and the way that he speak, black Americans would would have been catching hell. Right. If it was a black person that tried to assassinate him, oh, black Americans would want to catch hell because. Even though he's trying to distance himself from what Project Twenty Twenty Five, that's what it is, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And he's trying to distance himself from that. His his supporters, his the people that 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 started that, well, people that uh, was in his cabinet, they would be like, "See, I told you." I'm the I'm so glad you brought that up, man, on the street. Because remember, I sent I sent y'all the thing last night about right. oh, I'm about our girl having a um show oh, on I'm MSNBC about. It's 2025 on Monday. You, I'm gonna mm -hmm. watch that. I'm gonna watch that because oh, absolutely, they, and that that gives him another reason for them to do what they're going to do, right? To, to do. us as Black Americans, and, 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 and you know, I'm not calling us African American. No, Black no. Americans. That's right. He's trying to find every way to get these people out there to vote. And conspiracy brother, not on here. 
and I could see his his wheels in his head turning. Man, this is conspiracy. He just he just got those undecided white votes by him putting his fist up in the air to come out and vote. Because what Pennsylvania is what a battleground state. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's a battleground. Did you, hear, did you state. see the city he was in? Butler, Pennsylvania. Ain't an intelligent motherfucker in that town. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to say that they're not intelligent. I'm saying it. I said it. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm just. I, I, well, like I say, I'm not speaking for Pharaoh. I'm just speaking for the man on the street. I'm not going to say that they're not intelligent. Fuck that. But the people that was on the fence and they didn't know which way they was going to go mm -hmm. after tonight. Oh, they done made it. They already made up their mind. Exactly. They oh, made their decision. And Donald Trump. He stood tall. He stood tall. He took a bullet. Cause that's I'm gonna tell you this is what he's gonna say. I took a bullet for America. I yeah. took a bullet for you. That's what he's gonna say. Would Sleepy Joe you, try to do that? <laughs> Would Sleepy Joe take a bullet for you, America? I mean, fuck. Come I, I on. Hey, I, hey, I, man, I, I, listen, Butler, I, Pennsylvania is about 60 miles north of Pittsburgh. Ain't shit out there but goddamn coal miners. Ex miners. Yep. But yeah, I guess what I'm trying to get you to understand, Pharaoh, I don't give a damn. They're 60 miles. He just told America, I took a bullet for you. And just no, like, I know that. And like the mad professor just said, will Sleepy Joe take a bullet for you? I'm trying, I'm trying to make America great again. I'm trying to be the person that you think a president should be. I'm okay. out here on the I'm so, out here on the front line. I'm I'm okay. out here on the front line fighting okay. for you. Because you know what I just okay. I'm wait, sorry. Wait, wait, before wait. you talk, Farrell, go ahead, Farrell. Go okay. ahead. This is a guy who Joe told them that he dodged the goddamn Vietnam um that, war. So now I'm gonna take a bullet for you at 81 when I couldn't do the shit for you when I was 20. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you before you say Matt Professor, I'm gonna say this. Actually, he's 70, I think he's 78. But I don't give a thing, damn. No, what, what, uh, I'm I'm gonna tell you this though. The average person that's that's watching Trump now, they don't care about the Vietnam War. They 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 they, they probably hate to say it, they're probably dead and gone. No, I'm the, saying that he made Viet, that comment. I, I, what I'm saying is the Vietnam War to the average person that's voting today, they they don't know about it. I hate to say that, but they don't no, know what not, I was no, no. what I was gonna bring up, what yeah. I was gonna bring up and think about this bullshit. Remember mm -hmm. when he was president the first time he asked, he stupidly asked a general during a, mm. a um, medal ceremony for mm. a, a gold star family. Could he award himself a purple heart and some and one of the soldiers there gave him one? Mm. This is his war wound. Mm. God damn it, man, professor. I'm going to drop another. Bomb. This is this okay. motherfucker's war wound. That's okay. I say and with that I being think. said, with him making that retort about him not going to uh, dodging the draft. This right here is what's gonna. This is this is what I'm saying. This is what America's looking for. No, that's not I'm what a, every uh, American is looking for. It's well, just, I'm saying it's all population of people that you know agree with them. And and me personally, if I'm an intelligent person, I don't give a damn if he got shot or not. What he says matters. And for yeah. someone who, you know, he irritated so much that they try to take him out, that's not going to convince me to vote for him. Yeah. I still don't like what he's saying. I still don't like the rhetoric. If he got I shot, got you. not, you're not gonna get my sympathy. Right, but you, but you're a free thinker. These other motherfuckers are, are like right. They're followers. Think about all the places, all the towns he goes to at these Butler, and and he's talking about a hundred thousand people. You know, hundred thousand people. I can give you a good well, ten. I guarantee you, at his next rally, there will be close to a hundred thousand people. people. Yeah. And and granted, and granted, it, and that's what I'm about to say. Granted, it may be his core base, but the problem is they're even more focused now. This yeah, shit galvanizes focused, yeah. them in a way that his words could not do, oh, and he oh, knew that he shit. Knew he and, he and goes to Joe arena. The Watch. Did his poll numbers go up after the barely? Okay, yeah, that's and that was my problem. That was his problem. Thank you. I, I, I would now, say, I, I, and when your first when they Secret Service heard the first shot or when the first shot was going, did anybody react to it? They didn't react until he grabbed his ear. Yeah, and, no, he and, dropped. That's what I'm saying. That's he dropped until he dropped. And, and, yeah, and that's not it, it, it's two points I want. I'm, I'm gonna make <laughs> usually the Secret Service is close to the president, 
Why? Why are they so far off? But not 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 when they're not when um he's giving okay. a speech. They're allowed to yeah, be yeah, off yeah. the stage. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Matt Professor, for for yeah. I was gonna say. That. Plus, they have the National Guard there too. So. Okay. My 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 second point that I'm gonna make is this. I know Farrell brought up the Vietnam War. What war is the most unpopular war of all of them? Vietnam. Vietnam. Conflict. The Vietnam. And, and that's what I'm saying. The most unpopular war is the Vietnam War. So those people that really didn't care for the Vietnam War, they're they not going to look at that and be like, okay, Donald Trump, he dodged, the, he dodged going to Vietnam. Because they didn't want to go to Vietnam. They didn't want to go to Vietnam. So no, tonight... To, today, today, and I, 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 I hate to beat a dead horse. Trump just won the election by doing Man, what he did I by would, holding his fist in the air. I won't now, say he won. I'm saying okay. he has a leg up. I, I'm, the, what I was saying that is, it's gonna be hard for Sleepy Joe to beat him. I'm mm. not gonna say he's. I'm not gonna say that he has solidified himself as the president of 2025 bill. I'm going to say so, is, but but he got he has a huge leg up right now. I'm I'm, I'm going to ask you this though. I'm going to ask you before we get off of here. Do y'all think that what happened tonight to Donald Trump, Matt Professor, I want you to go first. Is that going to change the way that he speak or or his hell, rhetoric when he no. talk about other hell people? Hell no. Hell no. The fact that he out the hospital tonight tells him he can survive anything. He don't give a fuck about what he says. He never has. <laughs> if getting sued didn't make him care about what he has, because the thing getting sued would cost him the thing he loves the most, money. If he didn't give a shit about that, why would this, why would this do him anything? He not gonna he not gonna slow down. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this piece of shit ran on stage with his gun now and with one of the with a with a type of bullet that they tried to hit him with. Trust me, probably, this ain't gonna hey, give him probably, shit. He'll probably have that shit on a damn uh, on a on a necklace when he gets right. up there. That, that's what I'm saying. Or 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 uh, what one of the bands they used to wear in the stupid ass yeah. war movies where they yeah. had the bullets yeah. wrapped around him. Yeah. 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 Listen, I'm telling all this deal, all this deal was just heightened him up, man. This amped him up. He about to get worse of what he was already bad at. He about to do a 50 cent. He about to be trying to wear a bulletproof vest on the goddamn stage now. There, he gonna do just like nah, that, that meme. That's too heavy. He for gonna him. be just like the meme. He gonna come yeah. out there. He gonna have the presidential uh, vest on. I don't even know if they made those. <laughs> he gonna have everything, huh? Yeah, we gonna have it uh, all on, man. I'm gonna say this, man, before we get off of here. And like I said, I thank you, my brothers, for jumping on. Cause like I say, I sent it out late. I, like I said, I was outside enjoying Willie Dynamite. <laughs> I'm blaming Pharaoh because you messed up my goddamn buzz I had going on. <laughs> you start sending the goddamn text messages, then the rest of the brothers, y'all start ping, ping, ping. I'm like, oh, what the hell? What the hell? I was wondering what was taking you so long to respond. Right, yeah, right, right. I'm trying to get my video. You know how to put a video on goddamn YouTube. You know, man on street. I got to get those oh, goddamn views. I got to get my views and my my goddamn subscribers. I'm <laughs> yeah, look, I, I was sitting up there going, man. I, I got to wait till tomorrow to put out a video. I can't because if I do some shit tonight, I'm gonna come off. I'm gonna come yeah. off as too happy. Man, I was putting yeah. away laundry. When you say you you on now, and I was like, oh psh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you this one right. thing. It wasn't a marine that shot at his ass. That's yeah. all I know. I, I, I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna say this, man. And, 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 and y'all could disagree with me if y'all want to, but I don't want to win the election that way. No, no. I don't want to win well, the who election. Who does other than no. the ones that supporting them? That, that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't want to win the election that way. If if no. Joe Biden or whoever the Democratic put up to go against Trump, because I think that if hypothetical, if Trump had got killed tonight, the next person that would have came up, he probably won the election because of what happened. Yeah, to Trump. MAGA, MAGA would stand forever. And, and just like you say, Mad Professor, you say that he would have become a martyr. He would have he would been a martyr for the Republican Party from this day forward. Forward. Thank you, man. You Tim, you saw my mind just. Oh, well, black. I was gonna say perpetuity, but. <laughs> hey, man, look. $20, $70. Okay, and we're going to do $20 word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> See, he said, "Let the payday." Then you go, all right. <laughs> no, help with that. Got that fellow? You get a Negro, please. Y'all know I've been drinking since this morning. Why the fuck y'all try to see the man on the street? Y'all, y'all know what I be drinking. I swear my words. You said since this morning, so it's been over twelve hours. That's yeah, hours. nigga, I started drinking about ten o'clock this morning. You know how I get down. Hey, it's the like weekend. Like I said baby. last night, though, man, no. people need to pay attention, wake the fuck up, and understand what's happening today, and choose the right candidate. Don't, don't follow nobody. Don't go to the polls and follow people. Be standing in line talking about who you voting for and shit, and everybody vote for the wrong person. Vote for the candidate that's going to actually help America and help us, and not themselves. Uh, see, I'm saying the Pharaoh. I say Pharaoh that you know this is not going to galvanize anyone maybe a couple of people like you're saying who's undecided and they're undecided not because of you know the politics they are probably undecided because they're like damn which one shall i go for they both old as hell they both don't do anything for me so you know and yeah I, I can see maybe a couple of sympathy votes but i don't see his numbers going up any much after this all i can see now is more rhetoric from you know the the establishment the republicans but him i mean if, if if this was really serious and really real you wouldn't be out there bragging about not being killed you would be scared as fuck because somebody out there try to take you out that's why uh, this is a conspiracy i mean come on now i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you tim doll i'm gonna disagree with you because people if you look at the the way that the the political um landscape is now people don't vote on that, people vote on emotions. I hate to right. say that. They no, do. no, no, you're right. They, they, they emotion, vote, they vote. Emotion is general and real, but not staged. No, but what I'm saying is, people vote on emotions. Now, what I would say, what I would say is this: I'm doing now, no. if this was a, if this was Trump trying to get that vote, he did it too soon. <laughs> he, he, I'm being honest. He, I, I would say that he did it too soon, and, and, and I'm, I'm just saying hypothetical that he did something like this he did it too soon because you will try to get it close to the election so people it'll be on people's mind because just like you said earlier tim doll hey we talking about this today we can talk about about a week probably two weeks but after two weeks after two weeks it's going to go to the back of the mind and people be like man they're not even going to remember what happened I'm today. A, I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's going to happen because the first thing he's going to say in every speech he gives from this mm. moment forward is they tried to kill me for you. Mm. They tried to kill me because, because they, tried to, they tried to kill me because I, I work for you. Mm. Just mm. like they did. Just like they tried to sue me. Just like they tried to put me in jail. I, mm. They did all this to me because of you. Mm. So he's not going to let it die. He's, he's saying it now. And, 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 and Tim, you, and that's my point, Tim. He's yeah. never stopped saying this kind of stupidity, there which is go. why, so the, which is why the shit that he says, which is why the shit that he says never leaves the zeitgeist because he keeps bringing the shit up. He bring it up. That's all he knows. That's mm. all he has. He's, but, 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 one trick pony. One but, trick but, pony. But, but, he's a one trick pony, but he's a smart one trick pony because when he got convicted of them 34 felonies, what did he say to the black people that, 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 oh, I'm one of you now? Yeah. That's what he said. I'm one of you now. I'm a felon. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a felon. And, so that's what he said to me. Niggas right. for Trump. And on your page, exactly. um, Pharaoh, Miss Vanessa Lazada said, every cause needs a martyr, and you can't agree more. Mm, 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 man. Hey, hey shout out to my Vir my Virgo buddy Cause, right there. Cause see, she said the same thing I said. I want to see his ear. Yeah, because his ear looks pretty damn fine. To we me. shall see yeah. in two weeks what the the big event's going to be. Because come November, nobody's going to remember this or even That's, no. About I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you, Tim Dow. No, no, because we shall see. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because everybody. From here, from oh my now fucking on. goodness! Are you shitting me? What's that? I'm sorry. I'm watching faux news. Why <laughs> the fuck they have RKF Jr. on there talking about Martin Luther King and his uncle? Nah, you got to explain that to me. Um, Ro Robert yeah. Fitzgerald Jr. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the independent. I know. I'm talking president. about what, what, what Martin Luther they King. Saying, they saying they saying they talking about how they always try to assassinate great men. <sighs> Man, this not this See, not this not this, for, this, this not for you this not for you uh, this not for you um mad professor this for the motherfucker that said that Negro please of course <laughs> you know with Sean Hannity come on yeah 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 well, man, like I said the, I, the shit has started this is what it yeah. was all about 
and, 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 exactly and that's why and that's why about the lie the lies i mean compare yourself to whomever is a but, great one but remember Abraham that stupid Lincoln. remember that uh, stupid nigga in north carolina already compared him to martin luther king yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, some people. I, I, no, no, no. Y'all saw that? Yeah. Fer the, no, Ferris in the video. Ferris in. No, no, I know, I know what you're saying, but trust me, this is yeah. Right now, it may have an effect, but come November, it's not going to be an effect because something else, something different, is going to occupy the voters' mind. It could I, be I, I hope to God it does. I hope. I hope, I hope so too. To God it does. Okay. I, you know. You That's know. All I'm gonna say. That's, I, I'm, I'm gonna mean. say. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this before we get our final thoughts. Cause I know y'all got things y'all got to do. Oh man, I'm about to go watch what you watch. I I would say this. I would say that. <laughs> I love a good joke. Donald Trump. Donald Trump already got people thinking that he's Jesus. <sighs> what was MG MGT? She already say that Donald Trump being crucified yeah, like Jesus. Right. right. And, 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 and tonight, 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 with him holding that fist up and saying that, hey, they're trying to crucify me because I'm speaking for you. He just won the election. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, only, thing, only thing Donald Trump has to do is not get on stage and say the wrong thing. <laughs> I, I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I'm being I mean, honest. Yeah. I mean, he he can do oh, it. I mean, he's been pretty lie. silent since the since the debate. Exactly. He's been pretty silent. His people have kept his ass quiet. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. listen, man, that motherfucker mm -hmm. is impulsive. He's in, very impulsive, and I don't see that happening. Now, okay. I'm gonna tell you what. I can't wait either. to see the next de debate. Me, either. it's not gonna be one. They say they don't want one with um with old Sleepy Joe. They said uh, if the next debate is just gonna hurt him if yeah. they do one. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and Joe Biden, he has been in, in some of his speeches. That I said, Sleepy Joe, didn't know. my bad. Yeah, my you bad. no, he's Sleepy Joe. Uh, no, no, man, we, we got to you know call. It. We got. You know go, what? Go you got to go think go about go Joe, and and I just remembered this. He's been fighting stuttering his entire life, and when he yeah, he's gets, a stutterer, like most stutterers, when yeah. he gets when he gets a little bit yeah. um brain fog, a little bit, they start stuttering again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he said that. He, that's one thing about it. he said that he did fight stuttering yeah. his whole life. But matter of fact, you just made a great point. And when they yeah. get flustered, when they get flustered, and they're trying, sometimes your mouth don't catch up with your brain, and you say the wrong thing. Well, you say, but, go ahead, spit it out, take your time. Yeah, right. <laughs> and and, and my, my 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 thing is, <laughs> and we talked about this the other night. And I think we're gonna talk about this. Next Friday, make sure you watch Two Cigars in the Blunt, 8 o'clock. We, we can be talking about this again. We, I know we're going to be talking about it again. But yes, sir. my thing is, Joe Biden, he doesn't help himself by mixing up people. Cause all people talk about is his age. And my thing is, Donald Trump is only, what, three years younger than him. And he always and, mix people up. And he does this is the same damn thing. But Joe Biden did it on a stage where everybody was watching. So did Trump. Trump did too. That's what I'm saying. So did Trump. He mixed up people. Trump he mixes too. up people's name all the time. And unlike Joe, who you can see he's trying to remember, Trump don't even give a fuck to remember. He just says the first thing that comes to his mind. If he knew my name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of here, man. Shit, man. If he knew my name, he'd say the mad professor supports me when I clearly fucking don't. Exactly, exactly. He talks and about me all the time. He supports me. <laughs> and, and and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, hey, that's my phone number right there. Hey, we about we about to get we about to get popping, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. The number's about to change though. I'm, I'm gonna get another number for people to call in while we on our live. All yeah. fellas, y'all didn't know, but the man on show, we, like I tell people, y'all better get us now before it's we start free. getting money. It's <laughs> free. Because we about to start getting paid. I'll tell you right now, I'm, we about to start getting paid. We start. Hey, if, if you Listen come on the me. show, come with facts. Don't come with opinions. All right. We don't want no, opinions. No, come with no, come no, with no. Some. I want you. I want you to come with opinions. So no, the brothers. I, I, so the brothers on this goddamn podcast can cut their ass down. <laughs> see, see, that's why the you. Thing. Why you guys say cut the ass? Boy, that's some country shit right well, there. It's better, <laughs> than saying, it's better than saying shoot their asses up. Yeah, oh, hey, but that's okay. what I'm saying though. I want people yeah. to come because everybody. Come like, like, up. That's it. No, the, the, I guess I guess what I'm saying is I want everybody to come with their own opinion because we all got our own opinion how we think about things. 
But one thing I know about us on this panel, we're going to come with facts. And, and facts respect. always beat opinions. And respect. Oh, absolutely. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. Oh, y'all can y'all gonna be see the number at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Bluetooth is gonna be on, and we want y'all to call in. Uh-huh. Call in and be part of the conversation. Mm-mm. And like I said before, get us now before we start getting popular. I got and two I know fellas, man. I, I know that this, yeah, this, this, time, this, baby. This, this was a spur of the moment thing. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to jump on here and I'm glad my brothers came to back me up. Oh, yeah. I didn't think I could talk for an hour. <laughs> I could. I could. Yeah, boy, you've been drinking, but, so you know you could. Yeah, I know I could. <laughs> <laughs> I know I could. But 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 I want to give the brothers a oh, no. chance to get their final thoughts before we sign off. So Tim Dog, you up first. And we talk about this situation now. Yeah, I know. Okay, (laughs) what's your final thoughts on this situation? Before we jump to conclusions and make assumptions, we must be sure that our assumptions are correct. Because if they're not, then once again, your facts are wrong, your information is wrong, your ideas and everything will change. This is a crucial vote, not on sympathy, but on policy. Policies that one man clearly has a, a better record than the other man who clearly has a better record at lying. Now, I say that all this is going to do, me personally, is reinforce the need to get rid of him. Because if he's going to sit here and try to, you know, make this about him, which is what this whole election and everything has been, about him. Not about what he's going to do for America. Not what he's like went out. Oh, country, shit. But for himself. My microphone went out. Oh, mine went out too? No, I can hear you, Tim. Oh, okay. But that, that's me. I don't know what I, happened, I, but I, I, my this shit is just went another out. event that's going to you know, be more events up until the elections. And we, we haven't seen the last of this. It's going to be something else. We all know it because it always is. I'm done. <laughs> oh shit! No, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, we hear you. We heard you when you said you might. Just that out. Trump. My mic went out. I don't know if people can hear me or not. <laughs> okay then. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened. My mic went out. But go ahead and get in there, Pharaoh. Um, I'm going to just say that what I said before. This this is a this is going to be a a very trying year for us, you. a very trying year for us as a, as a, okay. as, a, as Americans, and I want to say Americans, just be wary of who you're voting for when you go to the polls. Don't don't let the sympathy vote count. You need to find out what's going to happen and what's going to uh, what we need to do as as a people to be unified to make sure we do the right thing. That's all. That's it. We just need to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I say, my mic went out. My mic went out, but I don't know what the hell. But hey, I'm back again. I hopefully I'm back. But Pharaoh, you never what you left, bro. <laughs> yeah, you never left. <laughs> I left on my side because that shit went. My, my shit just went out on me. <laughs> my bad, fellas. Well, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna piggyback on the fellas, and and I want people to realize this: whether or not this shit is a conspiracy is not important. Exactly. I want you to listen to Trump's first speech after this and see if there's any policy mm. because he hasn't put none out yet. Mm. Just listen. Just listen to his policy. The fact that he has yet to put out policy. In fact, he never put out policy in the first damn um, in his first term. So, you know, you'd expect something for a second term. There has there has been no policy. And mm. don't let him try to don't let this shit distract you from Project 2020, 2025 or Project 47, whatever the hell they want to call it, whatever they want to, however they want to try to soften this shit. Don't let this distract you from that because he gets in, I promise you his first day in office, he's going to start um, implementing everything that's in there. And black people, we're in trouble under this. Hispanic people, you're in trouble under this. And all women are in trouble under this because if you thought that show, um, The Handmaid's Tale was entertaining, get ready to live it. Because it's all on, it's 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 on you now. 
It'll be on. Oh, hey, you got to say the Asians too. They need they need to wake the fuck up too. Well, he don't care about them because they look white enough. They're close enough to be white. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say this, man. Because and although I want to say this, I'm sorry. I want to say this. One more thing <laughs> about Project 2025. If you all read it like I've started reading it, the one group that's left out of this is child molesters and sexual predators. Mm. They're left out of any. They're left out of all new, new. Um, they're left out of all new, new. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Laws that he wants passed. Hmm. I got you. I got you. Uh, thank you, fellas, man. Because I went out. I, everything just went blank on me. That's why you can't be drinking and try to control the board because I, I guess I hit the wrong button. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess I did. And, and my, my thoughts on this situation is this. Uh, you know, Trump, to me, is a me, me person. It's all about him and his family. And today, it just reinforced what the Fox News and all those MAGAs going to be saying he's fighting for us. And just like the math professor say, just like Tim Dog say, just like Farrell say, Trump is not for you. I, I hate to say that. Trump is all about himself. And next Friday, we're going to we're going to dwell deep into this project 2025 so people can understand what's really going on. If Trump is reelected, if he's reelected, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not of that persuasion, you're going to catch hell. Or I hate to tell you, you're going to catch hell. But I want to thank my brothers. Like I said before, this is the Audacity Podcast. Yes, the man on the street went live. My brother came on to support him and to support me. And I'm thankful that. Thankful for that. But before Ooh. we go, <laughs> yeah, I, I've been drinking my fuck y'all. <laughs> Tim Doll, tell the people how they can follow you if, on, on your social. Follow me on Father's Love 99 Instagram. It's all about me, my son, and my grandson now. I got you. I got you. Feral King, shout out your social. I'm just going with Facebook. Um, King Ryan. <laughs> As you know, our Miss a hey, Miss Vanessa, my Virgo, my Virgo buddy. Thanks for the comment. We we'll get back at you. Go, go, go ahead. Shout out your social. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Professor. You me. Mad Professor dot one. All one word. The way you see it on the screen on YouTube and Instagram. Okay, of course you know you can follow me at the Audacity Podcast. Also, Creative Canvas Expressions, and of course you know we got two cigars and a blunt. Hey, like I said before, we go it goes down every Friday night at eight o'clock. Make sure you stick around for the after show called Ashed Out. We also got a sports channel called What the Better Than Sex Sports Podcast that goes down Wednesday night at seven o'clock. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going down this Wednesday. Oh, it's going down. Oh, I already, I already put it out there. Oh, we looking for some people. We already got four. Tim Doe, what, what side are you gonna be on now? You gonna be on the, you gonna be on the LeBron side, or you gonna be on the draw? I need, I need to know because just in case, that's three. That's three hey, against one. Tim, don't give him nothing. You let him figure it out on Wednesday night. Okay. Don't say shit. <laughs> okay, but I, 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 don't, I don't say I, shit. I, don't, don't, I don't send, give him nothing. I send hey, the invite. Hey, who out. That, that video yeah. about LeBron and 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 uh, uh, Mike. On, um, <laughs> I, 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 what, what, I guess what I'm trying to say is I send the invite out that people that want to be on we can have up to 10 we can have up to 10 people so that's four so we need six more people six more I need three more for LeBron I need three more for Jordan and that's why I put it out there so or or <laughs> I might Tim Dog might switch up on me. I don't know. Hey, hey, I never told you I liked him before. I, so. I got you. I got you. That's why I say we need we need people to to get down with us because Wednesday night, all we're gonna do is talk about what the debate between the goat, LeBron James, or Michael Jordan, or the goat, Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. It's gonna go down. And like I said before, make sure you subscribe to all our channels. Make sure you support these brothers because, like I said before. Hey, they got something to say. You may not like what the man on the street says, but you may like what they say. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I am the man on the street. This is Pharaoh King. Tim Dog from Be More Careful, a.k.a. Knuckles. And the mad professor in the boot. <laughs> and this was and this is the Audacity Podcast. And we see y'all Wednesday night, Wednesday night, seven o'clock. 
It goes down. Make sure you set your calendar. Make sure you set your alarm because I'm about to whip up on their ass with oh, Goat James. Goat oh, James, Goat James, James, Goat James. James. Oh, I'm just man. glad he's hyping himself up. I know what's right. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out.